In this video, we will formally define a free group on a set X. And in the part to follow, we will show that given any set X, there exists a free group on X. So last time we motivated the idea of free groups and we demonstrated using words and word reduction that any group G generated by two elements can be realized as a quotient of a so-called free group generated by two elements. This time we will formally define a free group on a set X and next time we will show that for any set X there exists a free group on X and we will do this by generalizing the ideas studied in part one. So let's formally define a free group on a set X. So let X be a set and suppose that F is a group and X occurs as a subset of F. We then say that the group F is free on X if given any group G and any map phi from the set X into G we have that phi extends uniquely to give a group homomorphism from f into g that we denote by phi prime. And this is illustrated in the following commutative diagram. So we have the map phi from the set x into the group g. We have the inclusion map from the subset x of f into f. This just maps every element of the set x to itself in f. And when we are in this situation, F is then a free group if and only if we have a unique group homomorphism from F to G called phi prime that extends phi equivalently such that the following diagram commutes. Now note that this free condition says that given any map phi from X into the group G, one, there exists a homomorphism phi prime from f into g such that when you restrict phi prime to x you get phi back so this map extends this one but secondly and this is the crucial point this condition says that if f is any other homomorphism from the group f into the group g such that the restriction of f to this subset x is also equal to phi then what we actually have, we have that this homomorphism F itself is equal to the homomorphism phi prime. So to determine whether two homomorphisms from F to G are equal, it suffices to check that they are equal on the subset X. Moreover, because any map from X to G is determining a unique group homomorphism from F to G, this just says that there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the maps from X into the group G and the group homomorphisms from F to G given as follows. In the next part we will show that for any set X there exists a free group on X.